Hi guys again, I'm coming to you from my dining room and we are uh, looking at what we're doing for this week and it's um, Lesson 7 of Word. Uh, but one of the big things that I did this week was I added a Google Classroom. So if you're just now watching this, um, you obviously got to the week at a glance. So in the week at a glance are the class codes for both periods of Microsoft IT Academy. So uh, if you go there, look at the week at a glance, you'll get the class code and then you can have access to these things. Um, so once you get in to the class, click on classwork, and here we are with our first assignment, um, at least the first one in in Google Classroom, and we are um, Word Lesson 7. Okay. So uh, you're going to need both these so we can click one and then come back. That's just the office, and then this one is actually the files that we'll need for this lesson. Okay. So if you get prompted, you might get prompted to uh, log in. You log in with your uh, Microsoft Office 365 account, which is your student ID number followed by at stu.highlineschools.org. And then you use the same password that you would log into a desktop computer with at school. Okay, so these are all the files that we have for this class, uh, for this lesson. Um, and then to get to the instructions, um, I found it, uh, I'll, I'll give you an easier way. We'll just go through OneNote today. So I'm going to click on OneNote once I get to my home. Um, if it's not up in your recents here, you can click on My Notebooks or Shared With Me or Class Notebooks. Any one of those should have your class notebook for Microsoft Imagine Academy. You click on it, it'll open, and then you should be able to get to the work. Um, I'm hoping all the other stuff, what happened last week, when I was doing it anyway, doesn't happen again to you. Um, so we click on Word, and we can go down to Lesson 7. And uh, I'll be kind of brutally honest in this one. Uh, this lesson, there's not a whole lot to actually be able to do in Word Online. So I'm hoping that if you watch this, you'll get some insight into how everything works and still be able to do the knowledge assessment and understand what needs to be done. Uh, but for the most part, all of what you're going to see here is in the uh, in the design tab of Word, uh, the desktop app. Um, the online version doesn't have a design tab, which is why you're not going to see any of this stuff really, um, except for one little thing at the end. Um, but basically, the we're talking about themes and styles. So themes are a combination of colors, uh, fonts, font faces, things like that. Uh, and also uh, a, a whole theme will also define these styles that you see um, when you get into Word. So we'll show you those um, when I actually get into Word. But the themes would be found on the design tab, and you could choose a theme, and there's a whole bunch of themes as you can see. Um, you can create a document with a theme right away, or you can create an, a blank document and then add a theme later. Um, you can also change the themes and save them, so you can customize colors. If you, um, if you go onto that design tab and you find the colors group and click customize colors, you can actually create new theme colors, um, either based on some color scheme or, or just your own. Uh, you just select these boxes and choose a new color, whatever you want. Okay, You might want to give it a name, though, so you'll always remember what it is. Um, of course, the font, same thing. You, you can customize fonts. You can choose what the font looks like with the base, kind of the default font, so the size if it's bold or not, the color, everything. Um, and then effects, similar to other things, you can do like bevels like this, um, glossy effects to make it look like it's shiny, things like that. Um, but again, this is all stuff that unfortunately is not available in the Word Online version, just in the desktop app. Uh, you can also do style sets. Style sets are the things and what we can do here is I'll go ahead and open the one we need. It's this one here. Um, these are the styles. And so um, you can 
use styles in Word Online. You cannot change the styles and you cannot use style sets. A style set is a set of these styles that is applied. So we have like a title style. Where is it at? That's what this is. So the title style, you have a normal style, heading style, so on and so forth. You can define all those in one fell swoop in the desktop app, right? Um, so you would go to the style uh, styles on the home tab actually and then you click uh, more to see more options okay, and you'll see this and it'll show you what the title the first heading and then the basic text looks like and you could choose any one of those um, you can also edit those if you want uh, you can change the background of the page I you can't do that still on word online unfortunately um, I suppose you could use one of these styles consistently and then it might create what looks like a background, but um, really you just have to kind of deal with the white background on these on, on, on the online version. Um, but in the, on the design tab, there's actually a page color button. You can select and, and choose a different page color. Um, and you can also insert a watermark, which is a little picture that you can put, it says like confidential or something like that. Um, it's placed behind the text. It's like, it's partly transparent so you can barely see it. They used to actually um, use, you can use these still, and they used to use them, um, used to have a different process of using them, but uh, or to make them, but you could use them to kind of make sure that people understand that this is your document or it's confidential or whatever. Um, you could customize the watermark as well. Uh, and you can use an image instead of text. Um, if you want to remove it, you just open the watermark menu, click remove. Okay. Um, again, quick parts is another one that we know is not available. Um, you can use build in building blocks. You, you, you can pull them from word and then, um, you can add them to the document in the word app on, on the desktop, unfortunately, it's not available online. Um, and this, that makes it easy to add stuff, which is nice. Um, you have a cover page. Now, a, a cover page is a little bit different. So if you want to insert a cover page, for example, and I'm going to go ahead and just to play it safe, I'm going to save this. Call it hosting term, and we'll, we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show you how to save it. I'm going to save it. In another folder though not in this folder so I'm going to go to my Microsoft Imagine Academy go to my word and then we need to create a new folder here called lesson 7 and then inside this folder we'll save it okay now inserting a, a cover page all the cover pages is that is, is a page that you can put like a, a um, a name or something of the document. Uh, now this is through the built-in building blocks. All really you can do with this on this uh, version is if you insert a page break here and then you have this page above. At, so right uh, and you have some title. Let's see what what they use for the title here. Um, So now that's that's all placeholder stuff. So the placeholder stuff is kind of different, but um, but if we were doing like it's called I think it's called Flatland Hosting Company. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go home. We'll do a, a middle Flatland Hosting Company, and maybe I can use one of these styles up here. So this would be a way to get around this. So maybe I want to use this style, something like that. Um, Okay. Now, with my paragraph, I, I can't do much in terms of of um, spacing, but I can just space this out so it fits properly on the page. And then I could 
Although I don't know if I'd want to create that much of that much background. Um, but I could just try to center this roughly on the page um, if I wanted to make these normal so it didn't look right, didn't look different. Um, same sort of thing. We could just kind of guesstimate it here. That's about as good as I can do as far as a cover page goes. All right. So um, if I wanted to, I could probably um, undo this so I could see the whole pages or whatever. So, uh, but that's that's an idea for for a cover page anyway. Um, again, building blocks you can create and copy them. You can switch them around. Um, you can insert equations. Um, that is unfortunately I don't believe that's an option here. If I go to insert, I just have the the symbols. Um, but you can just type in equations. The font you would use that you could use is um, you could use Cambria or there's actually a Cambria math uh, if you want to add equations. Uh, I went way past it. Let's see. So yeah, you could use the Cambria math instead um, and just imply use that formatting you can use here subscripts and superscripts. Um, it, it would be more difficult to do things like fractions and such, but um, you could at least do basic equations and powers like that. Um, date and time, we can um, we can't quite do that. We can add page numbers and or just basic headers and footers. Um, so stuff like that. But you can add date and time in the desktop version. Okay, moving forward, let's go ahead and head to the text boxes. So, uh, text boxes are another one that's not available in Word Online, but you can um, actually have a text box in the midst of everything, and you can set it up to. Um, to have different layout, I have like tight text wrapping or no text wrapping or in line with text or things like that, like you would with images. Um, and we'll look at images next week. The only other thing that I want, I do want to show you, is inserting special characters. You can do that in Word Online. It's a little bit different. So um, we're still going to go to the end. We can still use Control End to go to the end of the document. Oops. Not what I wanted to do. Let's try that again. Let's see, we want to go here. Okay, Control. And end, control end. There we go. So we're down at the end of the document. I'm going to make a couple of spaces. We're going to type copyright flatland hosting. We'll put the year in there 2020. All rights reserved. Now, usually. We don't just say copyright with the name with just the just the word copyright. I'm going to go back and put my cursor right after the T. Um, we can actually add the copyright symbol. So if you go to insert and click symbol, you'll see it's here. You can also see more symbols here, and these are all the symbols you can actually add in the online version. There's a lot more you can add in the desktop version, but you can add the copyright sign. Okay, and some of these, so we'll insert that one, some have shortcuts. So I'll, I'll demonstrate some of those. Copyright is parentheses, C, parentheses, and then when you hit space, it changes to copyright. Um, TM is one. Trademark. Uh, registered trademark is R. Okay. So there's there's lots of different ones that you can automatically enter if you know the, the, the shortcuts. Um, others are not as easy. You just use symbol and more symbols, and you can add them in. Okay. Right. So uh, I think that's it for this week. I I'm sorry that it wasn't more active for you, um, and I'm sorry that, that there's so many things that aren't available in the online version. Um, I'm hoping that you can read through these, still do your knowledge assessment. Um, you may not even have to worry about the projects unless you want to learn how to add some different things or um, if you have a way to get a, an, a full version of Word, that would be fine. 
Um, but for the most part, I'm hoping that you'll still be able to do okay in the knowledge assessment um, after you go ahead and, and read through these. Um, so I'll, I'll look forward to hearing from you later. If you have any questions, you can email me, send your Gmail, or um, come to office hours on Thursday. Thanks.